Hi guys, I'm Jake Cooler, Sales Engineer at Content.ai. This is a short introduction to the Content.ai feature known as Web Spotlight. Web Spotlight is a tool that sits within the Content.ai headless CMS and allows for a web-centric way to work with our content. With a content tree to provide a hierarchical information architecture, ability to preview web pages as they look on the website, and on-page editing, Web Spotlight provides an enhanced way to build websites within an omnichannel first headless CMS. In this video, we'll dive in and have a look at a general overview of Web Spotlight, the Web Spotlight configuration, and how the content model is affected. So here we are in a demo project which has Web Spotlight enabled and is running a Next.js front end, so this Moad Bikes website. A few things to note about Web Spotlight. First, on the left, we have this information architecture, content tree. So here is where we have the web-centric view of our content as it sits within our website structure. And on the right hand side, we have this larger panel, which lets us work with our content. So there are two tabs here. The first is the preview tab. The preview tab gives us this overview of the front end with the content here. And on, on the second tab is the editor tab. And this gives us that more traditional form-based um, ability to work with the content as we would within the content and assets application here. So if we go back to preview, another thing that I will note is apart from being able to preview this visually, we can also edit the content. So these smart links here if we click on one of these, we'll get a flyout on the right here, and this gives us a minified version of this editor form tab that we saw earlier. And we can start editing our content in here in reference to this visual overlay. Now, I won't go into smart things in this video. That will be a separate video, but just know that they exist there to allow for on-page editing. And we can also hide those smart link elements to have a cleaner preview of our front end. So I'll just enable those. Now, setting up Web Spotlight is quite easy. What I'll do is I'll jump into project settings and go into the preview URLs section. So in here, this is where we tell content.ai for each content type what the preview URL should be. So here we have an example of a page. So page is a content type. And here is my Vercel hosted Next.js web application. And there's a preview endpoint that we're referencing and we're passing a couple of parameters the language, so we get the correct variant, and the URL slug, so that we've got an identifier of what content item this actually is. Now, I won't go too deep into what the code looks like, but here is my source code, and you can see in Pages API, there is this preview endpoint, and in here, I begin doing my processing to then show that front end. So going back into our project. Now enabling Web Spotlight is, is also quite easy. Um, I'll jump into an empty project which I've set up for the purposes of showing how easy it actually is to, to set up from scratch. So here you can see the project is empty. Um, my content model, I've created one content type here. Before I go into project settings and enable Web Spotlight, 
I'll just open this article content type that I created. And one thing you'll notice on the right, here where we look at our elements, there is no sub pages element. So what will happen is when we enable Web Spotlight and when we convert our project to a web project, we will get another element here called sub pages. And that will be a way to link our content items within that content tree to build out that hierarchy. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. So we'll go into project settings. I'll go into Web Spotlight and I will activate. So that's step one. Then on the left here, you can see I've now got Web Spotlight as an application option. I'll click that. So we don't have anything in here yet. We have to set up our project as a website. So I'll go ahead and click that. And there's our Web Spotlight view. So you'll notice a home page has been created here as, as the root node. And if we go into content assets, some scaffolding, sorry, if we go into content model, some scaffolding has been created for us. So here was that original article content type that I created earlier. We've now got two new content types. We've got a home page, which we just saw in Web Spotlight as that root node, and we have page. Now, if we go back into article, you'll notice that sub pages element that I mentioned earlier. And if we go into the other content types, for example, home page, you'll notice that's been scaffolded with some elements as well, most notably the sub pages element, which allows us to create sub pages in Web Spotlight. So if I go into Web Spotlight, I go into home page now, I can create a new page under here. Now, Let's, let's just give it a title before I move on. Let's give it a name and a title. And then I'll go back into my content model. So if we go into home page, you'll notice sub pages is limited to only being able to create um, child items of type page. So in here we can add our article as well so we'll save that and now if we go back into web spotlight if I create a new page I now have the option of an article or a page so here I'll choose article I'll give it a name and a heading And if I try to create something underneath article, a child item, I'm unable to. And that is because we don't have that sub pages element. So let's go back into content model. We'll go to article and we'll now put sub pages. We can just call it sub pages and we'll allow, we can allow all types or we can limit to page an article and we'll now save that and if we go back into web spotlight go back to our article we could create something underneath here now as we could with that home page hopefully this provides a good introductory overview of the awesome web spotlight feature in content.ai thanks for watching